thinks that her life is a tree And she falls out of love like the autumn leaves All her branches all used to reach out to me Now her roots no more tangled in this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a tree, a summer tree, the kind that deciduous that oozes its leaves in the fall. And this is my palette. I've got Hansa Yellow Light, and then Hansa Yellow Medium, and a mixture of Ultramarine and Thalo for my greens. And I've made an outline on uh, my 140-pound cold-pressed artist paper of a tree with an irregular shape that's longer than it is high, irregular outline, and a trunk right in the middle of the center of gravity. And I'm using my number 16 sable brush to paint the sunny side of the tree. And we're gonna work our way gradually across, trying to get an edge that looks like leaves across from the sunny side to the shady side and from the top, which is lighter value. Um, because it's facing the sun, and I'm starting to add a little bit of my green mixture here, but very light, and I'm saving some spots, what we call sky holes, where the, uh, you can see the sky in between the branches, so that's a little bit dry, teeny bit more water. I'm working my way across the paper. Now we're going to keep getting a little darker as we go towards the shady side. Okay. And darker still. Getting down into the darkest part on a sunny day. A shady side can look quite dark and it'll give you a little more drama and variety in your tree and it'll show that it's a, a bright and sunny day. And if you don't want a bright and sunny day, you can um, make the difference between the light side and dark side not quite as great. But there should always be a big difference in value between the light side and the dark side. And I'm going to put a little more of this dark along the transition to help that transition from light to dark, sun to shade. Now we're going to put in a trunk. It's going to be a real speedy trunk. I'm taking some uh, warm red, my pearl scarlet. That's a Daniel Smith. These are all Daniel Smith colors. And I'm mixing it with a little bit of the yellow to get an orange and just a teeny bit of the green mixture to tone it down so we're closer to a brown. And then we're going to come in here, make some interesting branch shapes, and I think I'll make them even a little bit darker because they are in the shade of the foliage. Okay. Let that branch mix in even with the, directly with the greens that are on the paper. And then we'll have a little bit here and a little bit there. And then here's the shady side of the tree. And it's a gnarled old tree, so it's got some lumps and bumps on it. More interesting than a straight tree. And I've added some yellow here, getting myself a pretty, a pretty color for the sunny side of the tree. A little bit like that, and there's our tree.